Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool blurred edges effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like right here. You have these really, really cool kind of blurred edges um, around Patrick Mahomes. So I'm going to go ahead and go over basically how to create this effect. As you can see right here, this is what the clip looks like without um, any of the effects right here. This is what the original clip looks like right here. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a copy of the clip right here. Just create a copy of the clip um, right here. All you want to do is just hold down option right here. And you can go ahead and just create a copy. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead head over to the effects panel right here. You want to go to mask and you want to apply a draw mask. Now what you want to do is now you're basically going to cut out the person um, right here. Now you don't want like a perfect, um, um, perfect selection. So you're just kind of doing an outline and you're going to be using feathering to kind of make um, the, the video look a lot nicer. So we can just go ahead and basically um, cut around Patrick Mahomes right here. This is just kind of like a rough selection just for um, the video right here. So I'll go ahead and make a rough selection um, around Patrick Mahomes um, right there. Now what you can do next is you can actually just keyframe the draw mask um, if you want. But for this video, we'll just, we'll just um, skip that step because uh, that, that'll, that'll take you a little bit. But I just want to kind of go over the basics. So what you want to do is you, you want to go to the blur effect and you want to go to the Gaussian blur effect right here. As you can see right here, you have this really cool blur. Um, around Patrick Mahomes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the draw mask right here and change the feather to 40 um, right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'll go to the Gaussian blur right here. I'm going to turn the horizontal down to zero, keep the vertical at 100, and we're going to change the, bur the blur boost to five right there. And there you go. You have pretty much um, created the effect right here. And this is what the final edit looks like right here. You have this really cool um, blur effect right here. Now, like I said before, if you want to, you can actually keyframe the draw mask too. So if I go ahead and play it right here, I'll go ahead and bring it out a little bit. As you can see right here, the control points are keyframed. And I also keyframe the position, rotation, and scale. So just kind of watch the draw mask right here. As, as, and as you can see right here, the draw mask is just moving right here. Just kind of watch the draw mask. You don't have to keyframe the draw mask right here, but if you want to you could but for the most part you really want a video where the subject is not really interacting um, with the background right here but of course that's all up to you as you can see right here the draw mask is just moving around and tracking um, Patrick Mahomes so again all you're gonna do right here is just take the video right here you're going to create a copy so this is a copy um, right here I'll just rename this copy so it's easy to follow along so you can see right here, here is a copy right here. All you want to do is then apply the draw mask onto the copy. And then you want to cut out the subject right here. And then you're just going to apply, uh, so you can see right here, no draw mask right here. As you can see a draw mask right here, a draw mask, no draw mask, as you can see right there. That basically just, it just basically separates the person from the background right here. As you can see, Gaussian blur, no Gaussian blur right there. And that ba the blur basically kind of makes it look really, really cool. And again, you want to just change the horizontal um, to zero right here and then you can change the vertical blur to five and the blur boost to about five right here and that definitely creates this really really cool um, blurred background effect right here I definitely personally really like it. I think it's definitely a really really cool looking effect and you can go ahead and kind of just apply different effects and try different things but there you go that's pretty much um, the basics of this really cool effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you knew these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button also the final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 160 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace